Kanye West. <sighs> I'm done. I'm gonna say that right. I'm gonna start with that, man. I'm done All right, with man. Kanye. Your first impressions of the lift off or lift lift yourself up. Yeah. I thought it was a joke, thought it was a troll. I don't care. I still think it is, but other than that, I feel like it's an insult to his fans, to people who love music in general. I feel like he's just playing. He's not doing nothing serious. Even if, if he has an agenda, I don't care about what it is. But I literally just think he's just really insulting everybody who loves music, period. Yeah, that, that song, if y'all haven't heard it yet, don't. Uh, it's laughable, best. Like, it's really like the beat was dope. Yeah. And like, I, and the I beat was playing, and I was just like, okay, I guess it's an instrumental. And then, like, two minutes in, he starts hyping the song up, talking about, yo, these bars, yo. Yeah. And then, yo, he, like, literally goes into, like, scoopity doopity doop. Boop -doo -doo -doo. And it's just like. Mm -hmm. And then I'm trying to figure out why he, he posted on Twitter that, you know, this is not a diss to J. Cole because he loves J. Cole. Why, why do you think he did that, man? I'm not sure. I think it's just another thing to get him some attention, you know, just some flack, just for people to come click on and be like, oh, okay, it might be a J. Cole diss. So they go and listen to the song like, okay. So he's just baiting people, man. That's just how I feel it is, and he's baiting with trash. How do you feel about T.I. or uh, Kanye West versus the people? Um, I can understand the type of angle that he may be going for with this political subject but I don't think it was executed well I don't think it's a genius move um, yeah it's promoting a conversation that has been talked about but it's just yay versus the people and Tip coming in as you know I guess the representation for us the people who don't agree with Kanye it's a twist, yeah. It's like okay, oh, that's a nice little clever twist and everything. But I kind of feel like Tip shouldn't even have done it. I feel like he's entertaining this play that Kanye's got going on right now. I don't care if this is his, you know, stance. You could think about whatever you want. You could choose to believe whatever you want to believe in. But I, I just don't agree with the whole thing. And I understand Tip may be wanting, you know, reach out to him, help him and everything. But at this point, it's just like it's a lost cause. Yeah, man, when I first heard the joint, I was just like, yo, this isn't genius. Mm -hmm. This isn't new. Right. If y'all don't believe me, go back and check out Sticky Fingers' debut album, man. He has a movie, a, a song that's like a movie and like Cannabis is the Judge. And I think Rod Digger is one of their lawyers. Mm. And it's like a whole courtroom scene. And they're all like debating and deliberating. Like, and, and it kind of reminded me of this a little bit. Okay. Uh, you know, T.I.'s representing the people. And what Kanye seems to be trying to say on this song is that, you know, he's wearing the Make America Great hat again to show them that they're the same as us. Right. And it's just like, uh, obviously, you don't know shit, bro. If, that, if that's what you think you're doing, because they don't give a fuck. They don't feel like they're like us. They're like, they don't fuck with black people, bro. Mm -hmm. They don't like you. They like you right now because you're saying what they like to hear you say. But when you said fuck George Bush, what did they say? What did they tell Colin Kaepernick? Don't talk about politics. Mm -hmm. What did they tell LeBron James? Mm -hmm. Don't talk about politics. When you said the same shit about George Bush, they said the same shit about him. Mm -hmm. Why is Kanye West talking about politics? Mm -hmm. And now that he's saying what they want to hear, Fox News got all these articles running about That's what him. I was going to get to. Like, do you think that's his goal with this? He wants to be accepted by He's Fox News. He's been wanting Trump's. to be accepted by white people since the beginning of his career. Mm. You go back and you listen, and he he, and I'm at this point, I'm feeling like he co-opted the black struggle, even though he probably went through some of it. Not really. I mean, his mom did, you know, but he co-opted it, used it to make money. Off of everybody that ever bought a CD, ever bought a concert ticket, uh, Nike shoes. But you go back and you listen, and you know he he bragged about basically being black on the first two albums, and then as you for, at the further, soon as his mom died, he fucking went crazy, lost his mind, made 808s and Heartbreaks, which everybody considers a classic, which I don't, cause it's not. Jesus, fucking lo losing his mind. You go back and listen to and Jesus is whack. You go back and listen to Watch the Throne and. You listen to the song with Jay Z, the whole CDs with Jay Z, but the song that I, uh, where he's just talking about their unborn kids, and he's just talking about how help make his son be Republican, so everybody knows that he loves white people. Mm -hmm. And then you go back and look at the Sway interview, and he's talking about how he can start his own clothing line. And when Sway said, "Yo, why don't you do it yourself?" 
and he's just like it ain't ralph though it ain't like louis vuitton you know what i'm saying like basically he's looking at all of these white designers and putting them on a pedestal as opposed to like i, I personally don't give a fuck about any of that clothes right. matter of fact most rappers only wear it because you know when you look at it it costs a lot of money right but i prefer i, I liked what mark echo was doing with his clothes i right. like what russell simmons yeah. and jay was doing with their clothes and and puffy like all the designers they had they were dope i like what chris brown's designers are doing with his clothes right now with the black pyramid blonde so you're not gonna sit here and drop, you want to put them on a pedestal you want to be held to the same standard as them basically what can you say to the fans that are taking up for Kanye that are saying that oh you got to look at it from this point of view and this and this what do you want to say to them take his dick out your mouth and then after you do that just go ahead and admit it like the motherfucker is done like you can go ahead and agree with somebody and disagree with somebody and still enjoy their music but at the same time I can't deal with a flip flop somebody that I feel is phony that's that's where you gotta draw the line exactly you know what I'm saying like I don't like the fact that Ryan Reynolds had his fucking marriage on a slave pen, on an old slave plantation plantation mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying but I, I, I re- respect him as an actor exactly you know what I'm saying he apologized for that not saying you accept all apologies but I'm just saying I like his art I like what he did with Deadpool 1 I like what he did with Amityville Horror yeah. the Wolverine movie back in the day like I like Ryan Reynolds acting ability mm-hmm. like if he came out and said something that was totally out of line maybe I wouldn't I would probably say yeah, you know what I can't fuck with him yep. Kanye on the other hand is somebody along the lines where he's like I said he's co-opted the black experience he's bragged about it used it you know what I'm saying like in the song he's talking about what if I rapped about shooting people and all of this like you're using the Fox News argument. I, I felt a certain way about that lyric too, because I was just like, what, "What are you talking about? Yeah, what are you talking about? Should I just rap about crack? No, you, nobody said. Nobody you, said. Have that. you ever done? I mean, you did it on crack music, but yeah. you didn't have to. Yeah, nobody would have held it against you. That's not my favorite song in that album. Hearing uh, you, t- hearing rappers talk about guns isn't always like the best experience. That's why I like Lupe Fiasco so much. It's just getting to the point where it's like with Kanye, it's just like enough is enough. Like I haven't followed Kanye since what? Uh, My beautiful dark Tur- yeah, I mean, Fantasy. Saint Pablo was whack. I mean, come on, let yo, let's be honest. Yeah. And that's the problem. Nobody want to be honest. They just want to be like, oh, my God, you guys are not. Not everybody has a grand plan, a master agenda. Why did, why did Pusha T stop following? Why, why did, you know, Rihanna, Kendrick Lamar, all, all these people that, you know, normally probably would just give them a call. They probably just like, yo, they I'm, done. I'm washing my hands of this. Yeah. He had posted homegirl. I can't remember her name right now, but she has, she's been going around. I think she was a victim. A sexual assault and she shaved her head okay so kanye shaved his head and put my hero and posted her on the instagram like a minute later she posted a picture of homeboy that got shot at the waffle house mm-hmm. and said my hero mm. like and people are like kanye fans are like oh why she do that like shane and acknowledge kanye and that's the other thing because i want to take and i just want to show how much of a fraud in my opinion that kanye west is being right now okay. do you remember back around the Katrina thing. I felt like he did an interview with MTV and he was pro LG, LGBTQ like okay. back then. Okay. I don't know if you remember that. No, I don't. Just, well, he was just saying like, you know, people should stop saying, you know, the F word um, in reference to, you know, gay people. Oh, and, okay. You know, he was saying like, you know, they should have their own, they should have free rights and everything like that. The person that you're saying that you love so much can't mm, stand gays. Contradiction. And yeah, I, that's what I'm saying. Like he, he, he wants to marginalize every group that you claim that you're but so he wants for. he wants to mask it and says it's love yo you can't do look that. look look martin luther king led with love when he was trying to get you know white supremacists and and racists to get on board with him and they blew his fucking head off so that love shit don't work they don't give a fuck about but I'm, what i say don't use love just as to mask everything and say oh it's okay i'm doing it with love like you can't do that yeah. like this whole thing with his album cover might being the uh, the surgeon that was the surgeon the last to be I mean, working that's fucked up. I don't give a fuck if you but he's like learn to love him learn to this like you I can't. understand you you you, for, you forgave him cool. yeah we that's got great. that cool exactly don't put the dude on your album cover unless yeah. he okay there. I hope he sued the shit out of you because yeah. like that's now everybody knows what he looks like mm-hmm. but yeah I, I, I all, all in all I'm, I'm not I'm not looking forward to anything Kanye does anymore I don't care about it I don't I, I, like it took me until what today to listen to the versus the people track so I mean I already don't I already don't buy sneakers I've never attended a concert yeah. like some of the stuff I thought 
and it's like some of his narcissistic behavior I've always looked at as just being funny. Yeah. But now it's just looking at it as annoying. Like I remember the con a, a video of him doing a concert where he had the mask on. It looked like it had all the rhinestones in the middle. Right. And right. he walk up to the NPC and then he hit the first note from Run Away and just walk around like he was like Jesus yeah. and everybody's yeah. clapping and shit like that. And it's just like, yo, when I'm not gonna discredit his first couple albums. That, but that was, you bring that up was a good point. Work. That's that's what people do though now. Anytime he does something, oh my god, yeah, Kanye, like oh my god, thing. and that's the problem. I think he's using that to his advantage. It was like he that Frank Ocean step building shit. Exactly. Like everybody's talking about how genius that was. It exactly. wasn't genius. It was a nigga building steps. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And and it's the same thing with Kanye West. It's, it's a it's a fucking coon. Walking around trying to mask everything in love. Well, and you that's see now the, the president tweeting about him saying Kanye he is said cool. He, they said he's considering him inviting him to dinner. No, get what, out. What is, what is Donald what? Trump going to do for Chicago? He don't give a fuck about black people. He's worse. Did you oh. see? Did you see George Bush tweeted Kanye West doesn't care about black people? He didn't tweet that. That was yes, a meme. He, did. he didn't. That was a meme. I, I, I thought it was real. Yeah, it I think real. I think that was a meme. Oh. It had to be because I, I hey, in my heart that shit is real. Because <laughs> because Kanye West don't. He, he oh, he's he's in this little bubble. He don't read. So obviously he don't know nothing about shit. He said he don't. Did you read that he said he don't know what Trump's policies are? He don't agree with everything Trump does. He Kim made him because Kim posted something saying she don't agree with the motherfucker. <sighs> She's like, I don't agree with my husband on this. And then he said, Yeah, my wife sent me a message saying I need to clarify something. I saw that. Yeah, because because she's catching hell. She's just like, Yo, I don't agree with Kanye. I don't know what. Well, I mean, you married him, so this is what you got yourself into. Basically, fuck Kanye West. He's done some great music in the past. But he's just on some old bullshit. Can I separate the two? I could. I just don't want to. Yeah. We fucking cut people off for less. Yeah. So fuck Kanye West. Yeah, pretty much. Yo, you looking for TV reviews, music reviews, movie reviews? Let's check out the only reviews that matter, man. Yeah, just hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the notifications and stay tuned.